We are going to switch into a very, very interesting topic. This topic was brought to my attention in a Twitter post. Uh, it was a Twitter post by uh, Daria Plays, at Daria Plays. And it's funny because the tweet doesn't have a whole, whole lot of attention to it. But I think it's a fascinating topic. The tweet is from January 23rd, and it says, which was a bigger disaster, the Wii U or the Dreamcast? I found this to be a fascinating topic. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it was very interesting. I think it's a very sort of polarizing thing. Uh, yeah, this is not somebody... By the way, uh, uh, Daria plays... Uh, I don't know this person. Uh, I think somebody that I know commented on it. Uh, oh, it looks like Lilac has a comment on these on here actually. So uh, that's how it came across my my uh, Twitter feed, and I found it to be a very interesting uh, discussion. Uh, the first thing I want to do, I want to go over a few sales numbers here. Uh, the the Wii U sold uh, thirteen. 0.56 million units uh, with 96 million units of software uh, was released. I don't remember when it fell out of use. I don't remember when. I mean, technically, it's still a lot. The Dreamcast uh, was available on 9999 and sold as of 2007, which I can't imagine they're selling anymore now. The Dreamcast sold 10.6 million units. Uh, Okay, yeah. Uh, it doesn't say software. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't say here how many, how much software was shipped. Um, so I found this to be interesting because there seems to be. I mean, clearly there's two camps: there's Wii U and there's Dreamcast. Uh, I was interested to see what you all thought, which I'm going to read your comments in a second here. Uh, I was interested to see what you thought, and then I, I wanted to talk about my my sort of thoughts on everything. Um, so you got, I've heard of her. Uh, no, we're not talking about Brexit. <laughs> uh, the Wii U, the Dreamcast tried. The Wii U failed to even advertise itself. Uh, honestly, I don't think either system was bad, just poorly timed. Um, yeah, I, I don't think, and, and that's that's probably the the first thing i would i would start out with with this discussion is to say that neither system itself was bad as a piece of hardware each system was relatively interesting uh one of them was not marketed very well but the technology itself was actually very good uh so when we talk about a bigger disaster I, I don't know if I would talk about this the hardware themselves because the hardware was good. You know, the Dreamcast had the, the modem adapter, which worked very well, especially if you're a fantasy star player. I also played a game called Alien Front Online, and that used to work very well. Um, the Wii U obviously has online. All of those are staple uh, features at that time. But then it had the gamepad, which was an interesting addition, to say the least. Uh, w w love it or hate it. It was interesting uh, at the very least. Um, the 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 disaster aspect of it, to me, comes from what was going on with the companies at the time. What were the results of the systems, uh, and and these are very varied things because. Uh, one of the arguments there that Chill Spike has that I saw a couple of times, Dreamcast made Sega stop making consoles. And I, I question whether or not that's accurate because Nintendo survived and Sega shifted direction. Here's the, here's the problem with that argument. The Dreamcast was at the end of what some may consider to be a string of failures. The Genesis was phenomenal. The 32X, less so. The Sega CD was relatively decent, but was pretty expensive and was not did not uh, get adopted very well. 
The Saturn had the opportunity to be a fantastic system, but was beaten to death by the PlayStation. So then you had the Dreamcast, a phenomenal system. But by that point, Sega was already on the brink of stopping consoles. They were already struggling with a lot of the stuff that had happened with their place in the market at the time. So they were already struggling. The Wii U happened immediately after a gigantic success by Nintendo. The, the Wii U was coming off of the Wii, which sold well over 100 million units, was uh, just a, an all-around well-appreciated system that was a massive hit for Nintendo. And to this day, uh, they, aren't they still making Just Dance games for it? <laughs> um so it's the idea that the dreamcast killed sega is a bit unfair it's kind of like saying uh the et atari game destroyed video game destroyed the video game market and re in reality the et game was a symptom uh, was a byproduct of something that had been going on in the video game industry for a while at that time, which was uh, fast production with poor quality control. You know, they had to crank these games out. You know, if, if anything was going to destroy the Atari 2600 and the video game market, it was Pac-Man. Uh, for anybody that played the Pac-Man Atari 2600 game, it was atrocious compared to the arcade game. But... E.T. was the one that really had the notori notoriety uh, of being a terrible game. So everybody blamed that. But realistically, it was just it was a byproduct of something that had already been happening. Uh, the Dreamcast was similar to that where the Dreamcast. I don't think the Dreamcast was the was the cause of Sega's downfall. Sega was on the decline because of a string of bad uh, systems, in a sense. And when the Dreamcast came out, it, made, it was too little too late. Because I worked at a store when the Dreamcast came out. And the Dreamcast sold amazing. Uh, it sold tons of units. We sold tons of games. It was a, an extremely popular system. But when the bootlegging started, and it was super easy to bootleg games, software sales dropped significantly. Uh, you know, the 2K sales, like the sports games drove tons of sales but eventually that series moved over to playstation and there was no need to get the dreamcast anymore uh let's support money management and stop making systems um dreamcast was ahead of its time dreamcast was kind of ahead of its time yeah uh meanwhile the wii u was more or less a, a wii with more features and that was sort of the, that was the wii's biggest downfall which is that is, that is a very known thing uh, the Dreamcast failed because of poor timing, uh, Sega's management problems, uh, and the Wii U failed because of confusing marketing, poor third par poor third party support. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, see, the Wii U failed because of confusing marketing. I think the poor third party support came from the failed marketing. I think I think the marketing was was the only demise to that system. Uh, that and the possible the the poor third party support was probably due to having to develop for the gamepad and i think people probably just didn't want to deal with the hassle uh dreamcast would have survived it hadn't been the fourth system. yeah it was like the it was the the sega cd sold okay the 32x was terrible but that wasn't really a system that was a that was a an add-on uh, and the Saturn, unfortunately, because of the whole botched release of the Saturn, and then again, the PlayStation just beating it to death, uh, you just, the Dreamcast was too little too late, even though it was an amazing system that had amazing games that are still amazing to this day. Fighters and shooters on the Dreamcast are, are amazing. They're phenomenal. Uh, but it was just too much of a mediocre thing, and it, it just... Sega had to make a change after that. The Wii U came off of the Wii. You know, if we had the Wii U, if we had the Wii, and then we had the Wii U, and then we had the Wii 2, and then we had whatever the next system was, and they were all failures, it's Nintendo, so they probably wouldn't be going bankrupt or anything, 
But we would say, we would be by the third or fourth system, we'd be saying, all right, Nintendo has lost their way. Maybe it's time for them to get out of the video game market. Maybe it's time for them to get out of the hardware market. You know, we'd be saying the same thing. It's just they still had the 3DS. You know, the 3DS was still driving the company. And then after the Wii U was the Switch. Was which if you're seeing now, the the Switch is an unprecedented success. We just got those sales numbers the other day. It was like fifty two million systems and there's no signs of the system slowing down. Uh you you've probably still got another four or five uh uh strong years on the system. you I absolutely think the Switch is gonna break a hundred million systems. There's almost no question of that. It could end up being one of the best systems that ever sells. Uh so that and that's what saved Nintendo, you know. So the question is, which release was botched worse? Which system was the bigger disaster? And it's tough to say. In an individual scenario, I feel like the Wii U was worse because clearly it was it was a ne- it was a further generation along, so it was going to be the stronger system, but. When the Dreamcast came out, uh, later here, Hyrule, uh, when the Dreamcast came out, we knew exactly what it was. We knew what the Dreamcast was. It was a brand new system from this company that we we still trusted, but we're still kind of wary about. You know, the Saturn, for people who love the Saturn, the Saturn was a great system. The Saturn had tons of great stuff. Rocket Bear, have a good one. Uh but but when we went to go to, to to pick up a Dreamcast, we knew what we were getting. When it was time to go and buy a Wii U, we first questioned whether or not we even needed it because we didn't want the tablet. And then we realized that, oh, it's not just a tablet add-on. It's a whole new system. So then we said, oh, okay, uh, do, I, do I need it? Is it like, it was, I don't know. I don't understand. So that, that was damaging as far as your individual or your initial uh, uh introduction to the system i think the dreamcast was a success compared to the wii u the wii u was a wreck uh the wii u was a mess when it came to uh how are you supposed to get it uh what are you supposed to be getting i should say uh the fall of the wii u was yoshi exploshi <laughs> the wii u was both confusing marketing and overconfidence by nintendo it's expected the wii name to sell. yeah and nobody knew but nobody knew everybody thought it was an add-on uh was wii u tough to develop for chill spike uh, i can't speak from a programming standpoint but the problem with the wii u is that you have to also program second screen functionality you know even the games that didn't really use the the gamepad you had to program it to do something on the gamepad. So you had games like Mass Effect, where your menu could be activated if you press start like normal, or it was always on the gamepad at once. So you had to do this extra programming step. So you couldn't just port games over. That was and that was the big problem with something like the Wii U. You couldn't take a game, you couldn't take a Call of Duty game from from one of the other systems and say, hey, we'll port it over to the Wii U. Because you had to do some extra work. You had to create the gamepad functionality. And that was probably enough of a headache for a lot of third-party companies to say, you know what? It's not worth it. You, this, the system hasn't sold that much anyway. It's not like there are 50 million we use out there and we need to uh, pander to this install base. There's 13 million units. We don't really care. Don't worry about it. And then that's where the third-party support just doesn't show up. Uh, the Wii One, the Wii X, and the Wii Wii. <laughs> uh, no, then you forgot the the Wii One Series One <laughs> or Series X. Uh, the Switch surpassed the SNES, yeah, which is seen as a, as a successful system. Uh, the Switch will definitely beat the Wii in terms of sales by the end of its life cycle. Uh, I think if Nintendo had developed a 3DS reader for it, similar to the Game Boy and GBA, the Wii U would have surged in popularity. Just make the gamepad act like the touchscreen and the TV work as the top screen. I don't know. I I feel like that's a Band-Aid. I feel like that would have been a Band-Aid, and you would have gotten a few people to pick up extra systems, but I don't think it would have worked uh, the way they would have hoped it would have worked. (laughs) Not, Not so long.
Oh, I'm sorry, it's the edits. <laughs> hey guys, who's here? <laughs> the ween the 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 what is it the wiener <laughs> uh there we go keep that um uh, the switch uh, yeah it's it's the nx it's the, we're, uh, everybody's talking about how amazing the switch is but when the nx drops that's gonna be it trust me <laughs> yeah they didn't realize the wii u was a new system uh, just an add-on so they would have questioned why they were buying an add-on for an add-on. Uh, the Wii Scarlet, a.k.a. the Wii. I like it. Yeah, I just, I thought it was an interesting topic. I thought it was an interesting discussion. Uh, as far as hardware goes, I think they were both successes. I think that they were both uh, very capable pieces of equipment. The gamepad, I'm not the biggest fan of the gamepad, but it works. Uh, there are a few functionality changes that I would have made, a few quality of life issues that I would have changed on the gamepad. I think it had massive potential, and I think they failed to utilize that potential. Had they done that, I think that the Wii U... I'm looking at my Wii U right off to the side here. Uh, the Wii U would have been a ridiculous success. Um, one, of, one of the things you had to do... Uh, this is this is the only thing you had to do. Are you ready? Which, which, by the way, with the success of the Switch, tells me that this would have absolutely worked. All you had to do was add an SD card reader somewhere on the bottom or something. The Wii and the Wii U had very capable eShops. If you would have told me all of the retro games that I bought, all of the single screen retro games, the SNES, NES, uh, the Turbo Graphics games, everything that I had bought that was from the eShop on the Wii U. If you would have told me, hey, you could load them to your SD card, stick them in your gamepad, and take your gamepad with you and play those games on the go. You give this a relatively decent battery life, Better than like the hour that it has. It has a ter this has a terrible battery life. You give it a little bit better battery life, and you tell people that the eShop games that they can take, the retro games that they can take, that they can buy, they can put into this system and take it on the go. I guarantee you, you would have had people buying it just for that, and I can prove that they're buying it just for that because people love the Switch as a retro and indie machine. Uh, retro, not so much, uh, because we don't have Nintendo and SNES, uh, sh uh, games in the shop, but when it comes to the indie games, when it comes to the arcade games, when it comes to the, to the more simple games that you would buy, they love the Switch, and that's what this functionality would have had with it, had they done that, and it would have been a lot better, a lot better received. Arcade game pad. Let me plug you up again since you're almost running out of power. I honestly think the PlayStation 4 controller has as, has more power than that thing does. <laughs> the Wii U should have been the Switch from the get-go. <laughs> from the get-go. Uh, the Wii U had a lot of potential. There's got to be a reason why people still want the games in the system. Yeah, because they were good games. That's the thing. The Wii U had good games. And that's the thing about the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast had great games and uh, a lot of those games i mean you look at game first of all you look at the most popular games you look at stuff like sonic adventure it's been ported multiple times it's been remade multiple times both of them sonic adventure one and two uh you have games like skies of arcadia that went over the gamecube you have the fighting games which are available in multiple places nowadays because they were some of the best fighting games ever uh at the, at the time and probably even today, you know, there's still some of those games that that came out on that on the Dreamcast and we're still playing them today. You know, Gower Mark of the Wolves, Last Blade, uh, these games were were Dreamcast and they're still popular. Uh, the safest thing about the Wii U was watching how hard Nintendo was trying to keep it. Oh, saddest thing, yeah, the saddest, yeah, it was a little sad when they keep trying to 
squeeze it out. I don't know. They, I felt like they, they tried to squeeze it out a little bit, and then eventually they were just like, look, it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, I think since the start, uh, they mentioned that the Wii U was a prototype since technology wasn't on the proper point. I guess that's what it was. Uh, heck, there are games that would be impossible to play. Well, that's that's the problem about switching Wii U games over to the Switch, is that now you have to alter the functionality of some of these games. The games in particular that very heavily used the gamepad. So you, you have to alter the functionality. You can't just port them over. Uh, I don't. Oh, where's rival? Yeah, rival schools. Well, uh, rival schools one and two were on PlayStation, but then there was Project Justice on the Dreamcast, which was the vastly superior rival schools game. Uh, God, the Dream Dreamcast. Oh my God, I love the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast had some amazing, amazing games. Uh, PSO Fantasy Star Online was. Oof. I think that's when I got a Dreamcast was for Fantasy Star Online. But then some of the fighting games, I mean, you had games like Third Strike. You had uh, Last Blade, Mark of the Wolves. The, I think there was uh, Samurai Showdown games. Um, King of Fighters, of course, was a, was a great series on there. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was the best Marvel vs. Cap, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 there was uh, on, this, on any system. I think that was the best version of it. Uh, it's sad, but don't blame that. Uh, you have to stick with your product. Yeah, you got to stick with your product. You know, you can't. Uh, two years into your product, you can't just say, "Ah, oh, man, that was a mistake." <laughs> Game has made the switch. Uh, would have been a great marketing slogan. Uh, yeah, I don't know what game that is. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom two, baby. Which I'll be honest, I liked. I think I like Marvel vs. Capcom one better sometimes. I don't know some aspects of it. I think because Marvel vs. Capcom one. I believe was still a six button fighter and then Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was basically a four button fighter uh, so I like the six button fighters better on the same note though uh, the failure of the Wii U showed how long leg the 3DS was oh my god yeah the, the 3DS kept Nintendo in the in the black for a while uh, what a great what, a, what an amazing system the 3DS was considering how much of a disaster its initial release was which is very interesting considering the topic that we're discussing you know <laughs> what a botched release that turned into uh, effectively their flagship system for a while uh, now it's the switch absolutely uh, yeah that, that's interesting that that's an interesting sort of uh, Comparison between all of those. Uh, didn't the 3DS sell more than some uh, Microsoft? Oh yeah, the 3DS was, was crazy. Uh, hold on, I don't, I don't remember if they passed the hundred. I'm pretty sure they passed the hundred million systems. 3DS system sales. Uh, 3DS what? Uh, it is not. I don't have a number. I don't have numbers for this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where, what, how many units has the 3DS sold? Oh, oh, huh, 69 million units. <laughs> um, at this point, is it okay to love the 3DS again? After the Switch came out, it really got mad. I, I think it's fine to love the 3DS. I think the the question, though, just simply becomes, is it time for the 3DS to go away? <coughs> you know what I mean? Is it time for them to not develop games for the 3DS anymore? I'm not seeing a whole lot of develop... Ooh, excuse me. I'm not seeing a whole lot of development for 3DS games, so I don't feel like developing for the 3DS is this is this thing that is sucking attention away from the Switch. Uh, so I think it's fine. I, I, I myself have been one to say that maybe it's time for the 3DS to die. But you know what? I would think that more if they were if they were pouring a lot of resources into it, and I don't really think they are anymore. Yeah, nobody hated the 3DS. It was just time. It was just time for it to go. Uh, and yeah, Sandwich Returns and Luigi's Mansion should have been on the Switch. They they should have some point been on the Switch. 
um yeah it's a, it was a great system and it is a great system but it's time for it to go away uh but yeah that's a system that started as a disaster i think it was like 250 dollars when it was first released which everybody thought was crazy uh so then they dropped it i think to 170 but then they had the ambassador program for anybody who was initially on board with the 3ds at the high price so they had a bunch of games that you can't get on the 3ds which i think one of them was minish cap uh, I think Minish Cap and Link to the Past were on there. Uh, just calling the 3DS would have been wrong. Yeah, yeah, there was no reason to do it then. But now, with the Switch being the success that it is, with the Switch Lite uh, officially moving into the portable-only landscape, yeah, I think it I think it might be time for them to finally take the 3DS and say, "You know what? You're fantastic, but we are not going to develop games for it anymore." Uh but they weren't I feel because the Switch was still a uh, a uh, black horse and the 3DS is a, Yeah, it, it, at the beginning of the Switch's life, they were still kind of like I don't know, let's 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 wait and see, but the Switch is an unprecedented success at this point. So there's no question that you can you can safely hang up the 3DS right now and be totally okay with it. Um, but yeah, uh, Wii U versus Dreamcast, I feel like the uh, hardware, I think both of the systems were good. Uh, as, as far as the handling of their releases, I think the Wii U was worse uh, because people weren't really sure what they were supposed to be getting uh and if they should even go out and get one uh the dreamcast was clearly a different system the only problem is the dreamcast was too little too late and was not enough to overcome uh its previous failures uh the the wii u did some damage but was recoverable the the dreamcast did what it could, but couldn't save a sinking ship. Uh, it really couldn't. But...